This is a landmark Ferrari. It's one of the last of the great front engine cars produced in the late 60s. It, the design of it, it's just an amazing marriage between glass and steel. It straight away on its first outing won the Daytona race, first, second and third. Hence the name Daytona stuck. And it's always been, been with the car, even though officially it's a 365 GTB4. Uh, a V12 engine capable of 175 miles an hour. And they raced successfully in the GT category and won, won many races. This particular car belonged to Ian Fraser. It has a great provenance. He was a racing journalist and a collector and a lover of Ferrari. He always chose the very best models for his collection. And this example typifies just a superb example, an original example of a Ferrari Daytona. I suppose the great thing about it is its top condition and originality. Here is a car that's just done 38,000 miles. It's three owners. It's been Classic A. And generally speaking, it's as though you're driving a car less than a year old. For its condition, the provenance, as we said, is absolutely second to none. And one of the most important things in car collecting is originality. And you have it in this car. Original, but in, in still in good condition. And they're not necessarily the two things that go together. But this has it in top sections. One other thing to note with this car, it's a right-hand drive Ferrari. One of only 148 Daytonas ever produced out of approximately 1,400. To actually drive the car, it's just a great experience. It has the performance to match its looks, which is not necessarily the same thing with a lot of other very valuable Ferraris. But here you've got the looks and the performance, which are absolutely stunning. It's no holds barred. Once you get over 100 miles an hour, you put your foot down and it just carries on and on and on and on till its top speed is not far short of 180 miles an hour.